Hey, what's up? It's Ryan Oakley here from photographyontheside.com, and this is the free online course Create a Gorgeous Photography Website with SmugMug in 90 Minutes. In this step, we're going to be creating our Work With Me page as well as the contact form. All right, so we're done customizing our site. Uh, it looks really good, and now in this step, we are going to be making our special page, which I call the Work With Me page, as you can see here. And basically, it's got uh, you know, it's it's got my photo, which is important. I think you know, an about me page should have a photo, um, and uh, tells people where I am and what I do, and then it gives a little blurb about who I am and and uh, some of what I do, and you know, some of my you know philosophy, whatever you might call it, um, and then in the next, and then it's got my some social media icons, and and an invitation to to contact me. Um, and then the next se section is about services, and uh, here's where I talk about you know doing uh, doing portraits and weddings, and um, and then and then the next section is testimonials. So go back into our site, and the first thing we want to do is, is upload a couple of photos. So you notice, sorry, back on our live site, you'll notice I need a bio photo, and then I've also um, got a photo here that's just you know it's a nice kind of almost like a stock image of a happy couple with their photographer. I think that looks kind of really good. Okay, so we go back here and we want to go to organize, uh, organize our site. Gets us back into this organize, organize, organize site screen. And first thing we want to do is we want to create um, a gallery and we can create that new gallery in our root folder. The title of it is going to be um, Photos for Smug Mug Site. So this isn't going to be a public gallery. We're going to kind of hide this gallery away. Um, it's not going to be on our site, but we need a place to put our photos that we're going to use on our page. So th this is what we're doing. So some of these um, um, some of these settings that we're going to go through here aren't really going to matter because it's not a normal page. It's going to be hidden. Um, but anyways. So security and privacy, like I said, it's uh, we're not going to make it public. We're going to make it unlisted. So that's really important. Make it unlisted. Um, uh, web searchable. It really doesn't matter. You can say no or yes. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say no, just so for whatever reason. If if somebody types in Clark Kent photography, I don't want them to get to this unlisted page by accident. So I'm just gonna take it off the search engines. External embedding. I think we need to leave that on so that we can use the files on our site. I think I'm not sure. It, it doesn't matter either way. Maximum display size. Just leave that. Right click protected. Um, sure, we can turn that on. Don't need a watermark. Social. It's not really going to matter because we're not going to actually display this gallery. We're just going to use the photos in it. So I'm just going to leave that on. Shopping doesn't really matter either. Appearance doesn't matter. Smart rules sharpening. And quick settings. We don't need to set a quick setting on this one because it's just a um, a specific uh, folder for a specific use. So I'm going to create that, and there it is here. So click into it. We're going to go upload a couple of photos. Let's see if I can go find them. And um, there they are. So I've got uh, an image of me, and then I've got that other image. So. I'm going to select both of those and drag them over. It'll just take a second to uh, to upload. Okay, and then when those are done uploading, you can go uh, hit the I'm done uploading button. And uh, and there they are. So if we go back to our, you know, our main page or root directory, whatever you want to call it, um, now we want to create a, a page um, for basically the work uh, with me page. So I'm going to make sure you're, you're following me here. So create page. So not a folder, not a gallery. We're going to create a page. Okay. Uh, title, we're going to call this work with me. Um, again, description and keywords. You can fill that in if you want. Uh, feature image, not going to use that. Custom URL. Um, make sure that's what you want it to be. Security and privacy. Uh, this is going to be a public page, I'm not going to make it uh, password protected. We are going to make sure it's searchable. So that's good. 
Okay, so now we can click on that work with me page and then um, to customize this page, it says visit it on your site. So go ahead and click that link. And there it is. Um, so now we can go, you know, obviously it's blank. It's got no content. It's got uh, just the, <clears throat> just the, um, just the breadcrumb. So we can go customize and customize the site and it'll automatically uh, take us to that page. So this part's obviously really important. Um, we want to be customizing and changing things just on this page, which we are. Um, I so I'm just gonna kind of go back and forth between the live site and this site and um, um, make it look the same. So we don't have any breadcrumbs on this site, so we can delete that. Um, the first thing we've got is actually a it's like a it's a bio profile kind of thing. So um, under content go to social and profile and drag that in pay attention to the green sections where you're dropping it in um, this isn't uh, exactly how we want it so let's go make some changes to it click on the wrench and the options will come up use the profile data on or off um, if you filled out profile data then that's great it might fill in perfectly for you um, it doesn't really matter um, it works to just fill out the information here too. So we're gonna go find that photo, and we find the photos for Smug Mug, and we find that photo which is, which is there. Uh, the cover photo is just kind of it, it, it. A cover photo would fill this background with something, kind of like what Facebook does on their timeline. But I don't use it, so I don't really want it. Um, the description we have: uh, Vancouver, BC, portrait and wedding photographer. So we can fill that in and then we go over to the social tab and I actually don't want the social icons here. I want um, I want them only on uh, the bottom. That's just a preference. You can put them wherever you want. So I'm going to go with off, off, off for all of that. Off there, off there. Uh, there we go. So those are all off. So we're done that. And then uh, the next section is just a text block. So click the plus to get all of our options here, find text, drag and drop it in, and go right underneath there. And I'm just gonna copy and paste this text in. And I might have to do a bit of formatting. So um, one thing we have in this section here is a hyperlink. So let's go add that in there. So if we highlight over click here to see my portfolio we can hit the hyperlink button and we can type in the URL if we um, go back to the main site we want to um, we want the URL to point to our portfolio page so we can copy that over and type that in and then that'll work and so we can add that link and there it pops up which is great and we can press done. Perfect. So underneath, so we'll go back to the work with me page that I'm trying to copy. Underneath that we got the social media icon. So let's go add that next. We go scroll down and we'll find under social, we'll find social icons and put that in. And so we got to do a bit of customizing on this to make it look the way we want. We want the, I want the, um, uh, Everything that shows up that we have set in the in our profile uh, will automatically be populated, so that works great. So if we go under display, I want the icons actually here to be medium. I find they work best at medium for this purpose. Again, I'm going to go to the to the circle icons, and then for the alignment, I'm going to go off to the left. So I think that looks really good aligned with the text. So I'm going to click done there. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to actually put in a, a, a separator. Um, so if we go under design, um, we can drag in a separator. And um, so there it, uh, it dropped in. And it's basically just a gray line. And, um, and I'm going to kind of apologize up front. Um, as we add things lower down in the screen, you notice that my window just starts kind of scrolling madly up. I don't know why it does that, but if I 
if it starts doing that and I just let go of my um, left mouse key, um, the thing that I want to get dropped in at the bottom of the page drops in. So it, it works, but it doesn't look all that good. So it might look a little bit weird on your screen. So I apologize for that. Um, so there's the, <laughs> there's the separate. It's gonna it's gonna keep happening to finish this page. So again, I apologize. So now I'm gr gonna grab um, another block here, a title block. I'm gonna add that below um, the so social media icons. And then when I click on that, I can make changes to it. So this is services and text size is fine. Alignment to the left. Here I'm going to change the color from default, which is black, to um, give it a little bit of a little bit of color. So I'm going to use my accent color, which is that nice blue. So I'm going to go click done on that and do another text block and drag it underneath there. And this is going to be my um, uh, services. So copy and paste that. Okay, so that looks good. Um, now we need to, uh, we want to add a photo next to this text. Um, so it's pretty easy. So we're just going to press the plus button again. And uh, this time we're going to go. Um, to add content blocks and go to photo, we're going to add a single photo. To add a block next to text, um, we want the, uh, the green bar to highlight vertically next to the text. And then we can find our photo under photos for smug mug. And there we go right there. Um, everything looks good. We, uh, we don't want it clickable. Center photo, I'm sure everything's kind of fine just to leave it like that. So we can click done. We're going to do another separator. Um, under design separator. So sometimes you move something in and it, and it falls into the wrong spot. So all you need to do is highlight or hover over it and then find the move tool and then uh, and then and then try to move it in the right spot so again fitting stuff in the bottom of the page is a bit finicky but um, I find that uh, if I just um, let the window kind of scroll on its own and then just let go of my mouse um, it falls into the right place usually so there's the divider at the bottom of the screen there and now we're going to do something similar to um, what we just did with the text and the photo being side by side and the title. Um, that's what's going to make up our testimonials from happy customers section. So I'm going to again go with the plus and go with the title and I'm going to just wait till it starts scrolling and then uh, see it went to the wrong spot It went above the separator. I want it below the separator. So I'm going to have to try this again. <laughs> And it still didn't work, so we'll try it again. Patience is a virtue. Okay, now it made it under the, uh, the separator. So if I click on that, I can write uh, testimonials from happy customers. And everything's good, except I want to change the color to accent. And click done. And there it is. And I'm going to click the plus again, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to do this um, so I can copy the uh, that text. So there, there's the text for this, and I can click uh, done on that. And now I want a photo, so I just go hit the plus button and drag and drop a single photo. And just to make things consistent, I want to make sure I'm using the right photo, so I'm looking for that one. So when I go um, click on the photo button, I'm taking all my my photos on my site, go to galleries, and I'm looking for, uh, which one is it? Sarah and Craig. And I believe it is this photo that I'm using, and I click done, and everything else. Oh no, and I need to shrink this one because it, it wants to go quite big. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, do photo size, and I'm gonna go to medium, I believe. I just go check. Yeah, that looks right. Centered looks good. So I'm going to go done with that.
All right, so I'm going to press pause here and I'll come back when I'm done filling out the, the rest of the testimonials. Okay, so I finished putting in my last testimonial. Um, now it'd be obviously a good time to go in and you know check your spelling and, and that everything's okay. One thing I did notice is that um, one of my separators uh, went in the wrong spot. I wanted this separator below the so social media icons, not above it. So again, pretty easy, just hover over it, um, drag and drop and put it underneath and then there it's good. So, you know, the drag and drop is really easy to um, to adjust things. So if you screw up, not a problem. It's pretty easy to just uh, grab it and move it where you want. Okay, so now we've finished um, this page, which is great. So we want to finish, um, we want to put this page into our menu bar as well as the contact me link and uh, as well as the bottom of the home page where we didn't want to forget about that so actually let's do that first so go ahead and click done and publish now and um, before we leave this page go ahead and, and um, highlight it in your navigation bar and uh, copy it and uh, you can just right click and copy so that we have that um, let's go customize customize site let's go to our home page and we're gonna go scroll down to the text at the bottom click into that and then uh, here's where we can delete the the reminder to add the hyperlink and we can just select happy customers select the hyperlink uh, paste in the URL with the working with me page add the link click done and then just scroll down to just check to see that that was done that looks good so that's good and then we go to the entire site so that we can change our menu bar click into that go to the links tab and here we want to add a new link the new link is going to be called uh, work with me and the link is going to do go to a page and you choose the page and there it is right there. So here's our photo folders and our galleries and here's a page so we can use a page as a link. That works great and then I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna add one more link and this is a special link it's gonna be a contact me form and I'm just gonna switch over back to my site to show you what it looks like. Um, once you've verified your contact email that we did in uh, one of the first steps now um, when when you use the special contact uh, form that I'm going to show you how to, to, uh, to make um, when you, somebody clicks on this contact me link uh, form pops up um, saying you know contact Clark Kent photography and then your email address goes in here and subject and stuff or you know the person wants to get a hold of you it's got a nice photo I think that looks uh, really slick and then they press send and then email is automatically sent to you uh, starting the conversation. I think this looks awesome. So we're gonna that's what we're gonna make into put into our site. So go back in, into our site, um, contact me, and this is where the magic happens when we go link to, we're gonna go uh, select this contact form. Select that and that's as all you have to do as long as you're oh uh, there's one more step we need to do to make this work. So I'll click click done here and um, and that's it. Publish the changes now. Um, so if I click this contact me uh, form, you'll notice this guy with an amazing mustache and an and a even better camera uh, gets popped up. And I'll tell you why that happened um, or what we need to do to change that. If we go to Clark Kent Photography and we go to Profile, um, the profile photo was never put into the um, into your profile so we can go do that now now that we have a photo to use so we select the photo and we click done and then we click save now when we use that uh, contact me link uh, your bio photo will be used so perfect that's great now there's just one more thing that I'd like to do before we complete this tutorial and that is to change the layout of the portfolio gallery. So click into our portfolio gallery and you'll notice that the default um, layout is applied which is the smug mug layout and that is the uh, thumbnails on the left and the big photo on the right which looks nice and that I really want that for the client galleries but for the portfolio gallery it's a, a little bit of a, of a different one and it's a special gallery so I would like to make it look um, 
like this, which is which is a nice collage. So as you expand the gallery, you can just roll down and it looks really good. And if uh, a, a visitor wants to see a particular photo uh, bigger, they just click on it and then they, they get that. So, so that's what we're gonna do right now. So back onto our site, uh, make sure you're in the portfolio gallery and you can hit customize and this time go to gallery style and change it to collage portrait and uh, once we do that the um, the photos will come out all mixed and matched different sizes and it looks uh, I think it looks really good so there we go it uh, it looks really good now and we go back to our home page and guess what we're all done creating your new smug mug site so I hope you enjoy your new site I hope this tutorial uh, was helpful to you and help speed things up and, and teach you a few things um, but now you might be thinking now what um, well one thing you can do is take advantage of smug mugs e-commerce tools and uh, set some prices on your on your prints and so you can sell them on your site and hopefully make a profit um, I've got a, another video tutorial on how to do this called the Zen of uh, pricing your photos in smug mug I'd recommend you go check that out Another thing you could do is go customize your site uh, as you want. So change the colors and the fonts uh, using um, some of the tools that I showed you how to use in the tutorial. And lastly, if you found this tutorial valuable and helpful, I'd love it if you shared it on Facebook with your friends uh, or left me a comment. I love reading those and, uh, and I respond to everyone. Alright, so take care and thanks for watching.